Huh. Let's go to the Nalk Boys. They were with my buddy Hezbollah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I just saw it. So Hezbollah, you guys know Hezzy? They're using and abusing Hezbollah, the little baby. Man, is he cute. He's not. He's <laughs> a moss-coated. So here's this little black guy here. And where are they now? Dubai. Anybody who goes to Dubai is a criminal. Really? I wouldn't mind Biden dropping a few bombs on that Dubai while we do this Middle East project of ours. We're taking that Gaza out, fellas. I hope you know that. There will be nothing left by the time I'm done with Gaza. I hope you know that. And I'm on every march possible to free the Palestinians. Okay. Um, let's see. Actually, I was listening to the Tim Dillon show this week where he had on a militant Jew lady. Did you see this? She told me that it's actually... Hamas, who's in the wrong. <laughs> That's what she said. Because I was confused, she see. She convinced you, huh? Because I heard the Kleins, Ethan and Hila Klein were saying, Israel is the good guys. Hamas, bad guys. And I said, okay, so that can't be right. So I sided with Hamas for a few weeks. <laughs> the terror cell. Then <laughs> Tim Dillon has on an Israeli rocker, for a better term. She's a rocker, this girl. She looks like a rocker, a rock woman, and yeah, like guitars. She tells me that it's completely the other way around. And I'll never forget this word. She goes, it's not a genocide. It's a war. And then I turn on TV and I see all these people marching. They go, we need to stop the Israeli genocide. I hope. You mean the Palestinian genocide? Well, the Israelis are doing genocide oh, to the it, Palestinian. Got it, got it. I, I'm telling you this, and this is my honest truth, I hope it's a genocide. That means nobody left. Come on, what about the Gaza Strip? Nobody left. What about your song? I want them You're to use, your no, I'll roots? tell you, I got another song for you. Okay. And it's about <laughs> the neutron bomb, cut to me. The neutron bomb, kill a million people instantly, but preserve the machines. A race, a country, and a race, but the fax machines are safe. The neutron bomb. Ever heard of it? No. <laughs> Either have I. But believe me, there's ways to wipe out a whole country without losing all the good stuff. <laughs> and the good stuff is the fax machines. Well, this is a very old song. Fax machines were the height of technology when the sun came in. Okay, uh, listen to this. These guys are getting tuggies. I am against, if you go to a hooker, you're a criminal. If you get hand jobs from a masseuse, you're a rapist. Yeah? There's none of that here at Red Bar anymore. Nobody's getting mad at me, right? For any of this? I'm scared to look. They say Jimmy Neutron Bomb. That's it. Is that a neutron bomb? Does anyone know? What's the definition of a neutron bomb? Okay. <laughs> Nobody knows shit about World War One. <laughs> All right. Well, listen to this. A shark attack video. Nelk boys. All right, boys. So one of the things about Dubai, they have great massages here. Boys are a little tense. We've been working out and stuff. Great so. massages in Dubai. Can you imagine going to the hideous... Dubai, and I hope these these uh, Saudi Arabians behead these influencers, right? They've got it. That's what's how this is going to end, right? Big Mike is going to get beheaded, right? I mean, you really, really there's hope, no. But... When you see these Saudi oil men smiling with Logan Paul and Big Mike shaking hands, what business do they have together? You know, what are they exchanging? What deals are being made? Why are the Nelk boys hanging out with 70 Dubai Saudi oil men? You know, with Dana White and Hezbollah. What's really going on here? You know, talk about you should be worried. Listen to this. They're getting tug jobs, which should be illegal. I thought in Dubai, something like that, you'd get your head cut off for. It seems like it, right? I thought Dubai is against... I thought you couldn't even drink alcohol. You can't even show your face as a woman in Dubai, right? But they can tug it, you? Those, and believe me, those buildings stink. Have you ever... Do this. Dubai, best hotel Dubai tour. These places look like 
uh, buildings that they're about to demolish in Vegas. They're so out of date. You know, that's why you shouldn't build a 7 million story hotel because guess what? It's going to be really hard to redecorate once all those tile colors go out of style. Have you ever tried redecorating 70,000 rooms? Those the Dubai looks terrible. Okay? Here, listen to this. No, I'm 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 okay. I just saw a shark attack video actually. All right, boys. So, one of the things about Dubai, they have great massages here. Boys are a little tense. We've been working out and stuff, so you know, a little massage doesn't hurt anybody, right? You guys know we're big massage guys. It hurts the women. They have to jack you off for money. You understand? They don't want to do that. Not that I care. I mean, really, this isn't about like I care about the women, but any man that does that is also you care deep down. That's why you're disgusted. Don't ever listen to her on this show, please. <laughs> I know the truth. And I already discussed with you to not do that, to never discredit something that I'm saying live on the air. Okay, listen to this. Okay, so who's getting a massage? You gotta get one. This guy's soft, man. So one, two, three, four. Any tug? Yeah, I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> what makes a good tuggy, too? It's, it's what not- makes a good tuggy? And they talk about this as if they're talking about something regular. Something not crazy. And how could you even enjoy that? Imagine the people who are doing this to you. You know, I've got some, uh, I've got kind of a rule. Uh, you can't touch my dick if you're butt ugly. This rule doesn't seem to apply to many people. These animals. Listen. Tug? Yeah, I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> what makes a good tuggy, too, it's, it's not all about the tug. Like, I'll get pissed off if I just go in and they tug you in five minutes. It's kind of bullshit. Like, you want a good massage first. <laughs> what makes a good... It's probably, like, 65% the tug and 35% the massage. So, we'll see. These ones, they wear, like, the official massage uniforms. Like, the ones that, like, at, like, the Red Rocks... And you realize you're laying in a bed where another naked man was just laying, jizzing all over the room. You're in the bros. They're all next door. Yeah, you're in a room of a thousand jizzes, sharing that air. You know, jizz gets in the air, fellas. You're breathing in jizz. <laughs> I won't even use a public restroom because of what's in the air. And these guys are going into the jizzaporium. Spa. No, I'm saying like it's like a real massage. Oh, okay. I'm very, very excited for a tug, man. Actually, maybe oh, you're very excited. The black <laughs> okay, one. Okay. Okay. The black one that looks like a dried up booger. Look at him. Okay. I'm, I'm real. Look at the pistachio back here. I'm surprised they don't leave you in Dubai. You become one of them. This guy's getting a tug job with his zitty mustache. You ever seen a guy with mustache that's mostly made up of zits? That's him. <laughs> Most of the dark you're seeing there, that's not a mustache. That's a clump of zits from shaving. Very excited for a tug, man. Actually, maybe I'll get a massage, but no tug. I'll tug my own horn. See, that's a smart kid. See, that kid's got some sense. This Kyle's got no sense. But he does it innocently. He doesn't know it's wrong, Kyle. Well, okay. What do they call that? I think they describe the tuggies a little more. Oh, do they? Yeah, I would like to hear that. Um, Afterwards or right here? Here, let me see if. Um, What is his name? Full send. Yes, full send. Why are you putting on jeans after a tug? It's uncomfortable. This guy's heading in for a tug. Yeah. Really he just yeah, he just got off he just got oh, off work. Alright, so we're at the Privé Spa. There's a lot of rules, boys. I see there. No smoking. You gotta be careful. I mean oh. you I wouldn't go for a tug in Dubai because you might be um you might be the victim of what's called A B dicking. But dicking? That's where the, you think you're getting tugged up. She goes, close your eyes, and she cuts the, the dick off. Uh, be dicking. You might not even, that might not even be illegal there. It you might not. Know. There's no How law you know? in Dubai. Oh, yeah, yeah, she might be looking. Oh, she see the camera. Oh, she yeah. can close up. Oh, God, she see it? No, all right, no. all right, don't put it up, don't put it up, don't put it up. Yeah, yeah. all right, let's just go. Let's just go. We'll give a review. This is a crime. This shouldn't reviews. be on it's YouTube. It's like Dave Portnoy's pizza reviews. <laughs> Is that it? He gives a review. Oh, he's going right now. They're going to get the tug. The floor is slippery in the tug room. 
So they're, they're doing this in a hotel. The floor is slippery from all the other men. Oh, my God, he's getting naked. One hour later. All right, just left the tuggies. I would give that a solid 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> wow. Guy, huh? the best tuggy I've been to. Why? Because it's like a spa, professional, great massage. And she was fucking getting in the cabs really deep. Don't you tuggies. have a girlfriend? Honestly, it was a great recovery massage. And then when it came to the actual tug, fucking best tug ever. Doing this. This is a little kid saying this. Look at this. Look what he's doing. The Rafiki sign language and shit was. Wow. The Nelk boys.